In this video, I want to talk about the improvements that we've made to FM Starting Point with the 7 release. Well, if you've already taken a copy of Starting Point and you've customized it and you're using it for your business, then you really don't need Starting Point 7 at all. Starting Point 7 is useful if you're going to learn about the FileMaker platform, so you're doing more learning or you're just starting to learn. It's a great tool to grab, to take apart, and to learn, especially in conjunction with the videos from our pro training course. Additionally, Starting Point 7 is useful if you're starting a new project. So you're building a new database for your customer or maybe for your in-house team. Doesn't really matter. Starting Point 7 is a great place to start. So what new features are in Starting Point 7? So first off, let me cover the boring stuff. We actually have a large number of bugs that were fixed in Starting Point 7. And a lot of those bugs have to do with the printing of estimates and invoices, especially the multi-page invoices. So those areas have been tuned up and tested pretty rigorously. So what else have we done? Well, one of our staff, Nick Hunter, is a UI design expert, and he's created new, even more modern looking data entry screens for the accounts module, contacts, invoicing, projects, products, and estimates. Which leads us to the next feature that we decided to implement in Starting Point 7. A lot of people who open up Starting Point really are brand new beginners. And I think some of the more advanced layouts are overwhelming to them. In fact, as I train people, keeping the layout simple during the learning process is always an advantage. So when you start FM Starting Point for the first time, you'll be presented with a dialog which allows you to select your comfort level or level of experience. So you have beginner, intermediate, and advanced. The data entry screens for each of those progressively gets more advanced. If you're a beginner, you get a very basic data entry screen, which is the best place to learn. If you're an intermediate user, then you have the data entry screen we created with the release of FM Starting Point 6, which has the master detail portal on the side. If you're looking for an advanced interface, then this is entirely brand new and includes the master detail portal as well as a reorganization of the content. Now, of course, you can select one of these and then FileMaker will go to the correct layout every time you navigate to and from one of these data entry screens. But if you want to try out the other layouts, all you have to do is go to Preferences, select the Navigation tab. Then over on the right side, you'll see the three different options. In fact, you'll see a fourth option, which leads us to the really big new feature of Starting Point 7, which is integration with QuickBooks. So my team has teamed up with the folks at Productive Computing, and we have directly integrated support for QuickBooks Online using Productive Computing's plugin. Now, in order for you to actually connect to QuickBooks Online, you, of course, would have to have a QuickBooks account, and then you would have to purchase the plugin from Productive Computing. And while those cost money, the programming to get the plugin set up in FM Starting Point, which is a CRM, has already been done. So we have some other videos that talk about the capabilities we built into FM Starting Point. The short version is, is that you're going to save at least about $5,000, if not more, in implementing QuickBooks into a FileMaker solution if you go with FM Starting Point. So this is totally free as part of our product. However, the plugin from Productive Computing is not free. And if you think about what we've done previously, this is kind of a common strategy. We partner with industry leaders to bring their capabilities into the product. For example, we have a lot of hooks and connections to 360 Works and their products, especially email management. We also have hooks and connections to Geist Interactive's products, specifically the Barcode Creator product. And so while each of those products must be purchased if you want to use it with FM Starting Point, the programming and the code and the setup in FM Starting Point has already been done which will dramatically cut down the time and cost of getting those technologies implemented. Of course, you can implement just the pieces you want or don't implement any of them. It's up to you. Now, we're also considering another update to FM Starting Point 7 later in the year, and we're talking to 360 Works about supporting their mirror sync technology directly, which would more easily allow FM Starting Point to have offline synchronization between mobile distributed users. So that's a future thing that we're kicking around, but it's fairly safe to say that we're going to be doing this. And as a result, I just wanted to give you a heads up of what to expect in the coming months.